Welcome to The Art of Murder. I'm your host, Todd Johnston, and on this show, I will be doing my own rendition of an iconic horror character. Today's episode is about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and that means we'll be focusing on Leatherface, the chainsaw-wielding maniac with the mask made out of human flesh. Now, let's go to the drawing board. All right, guys, let's get started with the basic figure outline. When figure drawing, you don't have to do it this way, but this is the way I've always done it, just with a wireframe. As a kid, I was always drawing stick figures, so natural progression is to start with a, 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 a gesture drawing. It helps to keep your figures fluid by just quickly etching out the basic position. You can always change it later, but it, can, it makes a character more dynamic. I'd say just like starting like this. I'm working a little bit off of a previous drawing I've done, which is a good practice to have. I'm going to save the face details for last because those will be the hardest to achieve. He has pretty big floppy short sleeves on his shirt. So I'm going to make them a little bit longer. Okay. Now the chainsaw itself might be a little tricky. key to drawing anything really is to cheat wherever you can and to take shortcuts. All right, before we start detailing the face, it's time for a few erasures. The trickiest part is the face, but he has a pretty janked up looking face, so you can get pretty creative here. I think it's always fun to draw a character wearing a mask, especially one so gruesome as Leatherface here. Hair's always been really hard for me, but with a character like this, he's got really messed up hair, so you really, there's not much you can do wrong. You just draw a big mass of stuff with hair sticking out in all different directions, and you can't go wrong. And we'll add some highlights to this later.
Peace.